Madam Ambassador, I hear you loud and clear. And to you and to the students of America House, welcome to the International Space Station. Elena in Kiev wants to know how you spend your free time in space when there's not a solar eclipse. <laughs> um, most of my free time is, is spent trying to take pictures of our, of our amazing, beautiful planet. Do you have a, a special message or special advice for aspiring astronauts in Ukraine? Certainly the, the thing that, that I've seen from the people that I know that have become astronauts is that even before they became astronauts, they loved what they did. They were passionate about a lot, most of them. You know, we all want to learn new things, we learn something new every day. You know, we all studied hard in school, found a field that we were interested in, whether it's geology. Or for me, I was a, my degree was in mathematics um, or, and became a test pilot. Uh, other people, it is, you know, hard sciences. So a couple of people were wondering, uh, what do you miss the most? Uh, you, you miss the smells. Um, you miss feeling temperature changes and weather changes. You miss different types of foods that you're favorite of. But I think to a person, it's, it's the human uh, interaction with the people that you, that you love the most. You're so we see that you have two flags behind you, uh, or to, to the side. One is an American flag and one is the Ukrainian flag. Where did you get the Ukrainian flag? <laughs> I picked that up last summer when uh, my family and I were in uh, Nipropetrovsk. Uh, my son was born there, and so uh, we went back there uh, with our whole family, enjoyed a few days there in Novomoskovsk, and, and then uh, also a little bit of time in Kyiv. Uh, and so picked the flag up there and brought it with me. And brought it all the way up to space too. That's great. I think you've got uh, an appreciative audience here. And we'll, <laughs> you've got uh, an appreciative audience here. And we'll, and we'll bring it all the way back too. <laughs>